Okay, today we're looking at my steel MS461 and what we're going to do is change out the coil from an limited coil to an unlimited coil. I've already taken the saw apart, got the side cover and the top cover off, so I guess what we need to start doing is go ahead and remove the coil. And to speed this up, I'm going to use this. Kind of aggravating setting sideways trying to do this. Pull the wire off. Okay. Now, this is a coil off an 039 steel, and you can see it's unlimited. It only has two posts. Well, this one has three posts. Alright. Now, the wire, the spark plug wire coming off of this coal was a little bit too short and how you remove these is you just take your pliers, grab a hold of it, and unscrew it. I'll put it in this one. Screw him back in there. Sure, it's in there good and tight. There you go. Put it back in the saw. Now you'll notice this one only has a place to put two screws, where the other one had a place to put three. You only need two. All right. Put them back in. I'm not going to use the impact because I don't want to strip it out. Don't tighten them up all the way just yet. Make sure you get your ground wire under there. Now we gotta set the gap. I set mine at 12 thousandths. That's what I do on mine, right or wrong, that's the way I do it and it works for me. Take a flathead screwdriver, just kind of pry it over a little bit. Well, first you gotta get it around to the magnet side. If you don't do that, you will rub because the magnet side on your flywheel, so it's just a little bit proud. Just get it there. Take a flathead screwdriver, just kind of push it over. Slide your feeler gauge in. Like that. I use two. Two makes it a little bit easier. You can get one on the top post and one in the middle. Like I said, right or wrong, that's what works for me. Then you just finish tightening it up. out. Make sure the flywheel spins around freely. There you go. Um, put the side cover back on. You'll have a long screw that goes in the top where your chain brake goes. Just 
back everything up. And there you have it. You just got to put your top cover back on and everything else. I'm not going to start this saw right now because it'll vibrate everything on this table. And, uh, but I've already had this coal on a couple of times, so I know it works. And your limited coal has a rev limiter on it. You'll have to find us another video to figure out why. Or, yeah, it runs better. I can't explain it to you. I can't explain things to people. I just do it, try my best. Here in a couple weeks, I've ordered some stuff in. I'm gonna do some port work on this saw. Probably put a Westco piston in it. A few other things to upgrade it. Um, yep, that's about all I have for you today, I guess. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. I guess push like and subscribe. That's about it for today. Thank you.